Hello, Elmwood Franklin School. Yes, hello, Elmwood Franklin School. We will start out with our weather outlook this week. We start to see those warmer temperatures accompanied by some clouds and sun this week. We reach a high of 54 degrees Fahrenheit this week with temperatures hovering in the 50 degree range. We start out our week with a sunny and warm day on Sunday, so hopefully that sun will make its way into our week. Time for our Tell Me Something Good. We will start off with some birthdays. On May 1st, Mrs. Cook McVitty celebrated her birthday, and Nora in sixth grade celebrated her birthday on April 29th. In fourth grade, Matthew also celebrated his birthday. On Sunday, April 26th, Mrs. Lynette and her family celebrated Sophie Kate's third birthday, who had a drive-by parade, and she will be a beginner in the fall. Caroline in Prep 2 will be celebrating her birthday on May 6th, and Miss Pelosi celebrates her birthday this week on May 5th. We also have Miss Kippa and wait, what's this? Miss Harris's birthday will be celebrated on May 8th. That's right, Miss Red, it's gonna be a great time. Well, for Mrs. Good, she has found joy in walking on sunny days, and Mr. Steele just completed a 118.5 mile virtual walk from Key Largo to Key West. We also had an EFS student who was featured for her work in Art Alive by Albright Knox. Students were tasked to, um, to create recreations of works of art. Iris in fourth grade made a recreation of Frida Kahlo's self-portrait with monkey and was featured in the May 2020 highlights from the Albright Knox. In something to celebrate, Cinco de Mayo originated in the 1860s with Mexican-American communities in the American West, Southwest, and Northwest. The American Cinco de Mayo began as a way to commemorate the cause of freedom and democracy during the first years of the American Civil War. Today in the United States, Cinco de Mayo is observed annually on May 5th as a celebration of Mexican heritage and pride. Cinco de Mayo celebrations in the United States have taken on a significance beyond that in Mexico. They include displaying banners and events highlighting Mexican culture, music, and regional dancing, as well as some school districts holding special events to educate students about its historical significance. May 4th of each year is also designated as National Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you, or may the force be with you. This day is celebrated by thousands of Star Wars enthusiasts with parties and celebrations around the nation. Star Wars fans actually didn't first introduce the often quoted phrase of May 4th. It was actually in 1979, the Britain elected first female prime minister, Margaret Thatcher, who introduced it. Celebrate, get out your best Star Wars outfit, and remember, may the 4th be with you. The joke of the day was sent in by John in third grade. Here's our joke, Miss Harris. How do you connect with people musically? Hmm. Well, can you tell us, Mr. Murat? You are the music teacher, after all. Well, you connect with people musically by using symbols. S-M-A-L-S. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Murat. That was a good one. If you have a joke that you'd like to share with us for our Joke of the Day segment, please email either myself or Miss Harris. Next time, Elmwood Franklin School. And may the fourth be with you.